What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I have for you the Samsung Galaxy S24 Plus and in this video I will be demonstrating how to use the new artificial intelligent features on the Galaxy S24 series. Most of these features will be coming to your device in the upcoming future um, with the new One UI 6 update. So let's get started. Okay, so this is actually me realizing I said One UI 6. It's One UI 6.1 update. But yeah, so I'm going to be using the uh, Tips app just for reference. So this advanced intelligence uh, little banner, I'm going to hit the arrow button. So these are all the new things that are things that are new with artificial intelligence. There's a new circle to search, translate phone calls in real time, get writing help with writing assistant, translate while chatting, translate conversations, auto format note text, summarize and translate your voice recordings, and summarize and translate web pages, remaster pictures with photo editor, and generate your own wallpaper. So those are all the things that are new. So like I said, I'm going to break down every single thing, starting with the new circle to search. So the new circle to search feature is basically you're just going to press down on whatever navigation you know thing you have. So, oh, that's actually perfect. So it is giving you these options right here. So as you can see, uh, the, you can have these buttons. So you just press there and I do, you do want to do the circle to search. So try it now. I'm not sure why it's actually running me through a demo, but yeah. So, okay. So you're just going to circle whatever you want to, you know, <laughs> whatever you on your screen that you want to look up. And once you give a few seconds to let you know, let it know, that that is what you want to search. You're going to, yeah, it's gonna prompt a search. So do lingo wed, wed, widgets. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that's right. Yep, there it is. And as you can see, stuff re according to, uh, related to Duolingo is popping up. So you can do that with anything. So let's go with an image and just, so again, press the navigation bar and circle whatever it is you want to uh, search and it will usually fit to that thing. So, okay, for some reason it's trying to be a Galaxy. F oh, it's okay, just Samsung phones. So, yeah, Galaxy S23. That was the picture of the Galaxy S24 Plus, which is right there. So, yeah, it definitely does a really good job and it's just super, super helpful. And it's just super helpful to have. And then translate phone calls in real time. So, what we're going to do to set this up is go into the call, call app and just hit those three dots at the top and then hit settings and you will see this feature called lab live translation so by default this will be set off but you're going to want to turn this on so you can also download different languages so select your voice so my voice is obviously english so you could this is what it sounds like when you're translating a call this is what it sounds like when you're translating a call so of course i'm going to have it to the male voice this so is, voice this two this is what it sounds like you when also, you're translating a call so you can also do like the pitch or the speed rate this is what it sounds like when you're translating a call this is what it sounds like when you're translating a call let's put this to the max this is what it sounds like when you're translating a call i think that one probably sounds best and then you can also choose the other person's language so you can have i think there's like a good, there's a good amount. So there's Chinese, English, uh, English for India, United States, or United Kingdom, and the U.S. And then French. So there's just a bunch of other ones. So it's you can super nice, but you do have to download all these, just so you know that. And I will break these down in timestamps down in the description so you can, you know, see, like, every single feature. If there's one specific that you want to, you know, like, look up for, or like, I don't know. <laughs> one that you're like specifically looking for so there's also the writing assistant or assist okay whatever <laughs> so this is actually really useful so let's go into the notes app okay and here so let me write something real quick Okay, that should work. So, and then you're just going to see those little, um, I don't know, three star icon thingy, and then hit writing style. Or you could also do spelling and grammar. So just let it do its thing. And you can also, to make it work a little bit faster, just uh, select a specific, you know, thing that you want. Like professional, casual, social, polite, emojified, emoji, whatever. <laughs> I want to say that. So let's let this do its thing. And I'll be right back. Okay. 
So we have original professional, so it turned what you see up there into my name is William, and I have a YouTube channel titled Wotax instead of called Wotax. My, <laughs> okay, my per personal preference for Samsung phones. Okay. Well, my personal preference for Samsung phones is the Samsung Galaxy S24 Plus. Okay. Huh, I don't know. It definitely rewarded it in a way that I wouldn't. But okay, so casual. Hi, I'm William. Okay, I actually do like that. Hi, William. I run a YouTube channel called Wotech. And I absolutely adore Samsung phones. My favorite phone of all time is... Oh, I guess I did say that. I love Samsung phones. My favorite. Okay, yeah, sorry. Um, my favorite phone of all time is the Samsung Galaxy S24 Plus. I do really like the casual one. And then social, hello. So, yeah, this one just adds, like, hashtags and stuff. So, hello, my name is William. I'm the owner of a of a YouTube channel called Wotech. I'm crazy about Samsung phones. My all-time favorite phone. Oh, question mark. Okay. The Samsung Galaxy S24 Plus. And then hashtag Samsung love. Samson Love, and then hashtag Google Tech Channel. Uh, so polite. My name is William, and I have a YouTube channel called Will Tech. I am a huge fan of Samsung phones, with my favorite phone of all time being the Samsung Galaxy S24 Plus. And if you can read the last one, and uh, I'll put what it set up on screen. I'm realizing that actually took a little while. So that is basically how you use Chat Assist. So it's super helpful just to have to maybe make your tech sound more fun, more professional, however you want it. And the next thing is Translate While Chatting. So this feature is found within literally anywhere that you are having a conversation. So we're going to do, again, hit those three little stars and then hit chat translation. So auto into English. So hi. And then it will put it into Spanish because that's what I have it set at. But it can do any like language that you set it as. So I can't respond for some reason. I can't text myself. Let me try it on WhatsApp. Okay, so let's go ahead and just say hi. And then, actually, hola, I don't know, how do you spell hi in Spanish? Is it not going to send it to me? Okay, for whatever reason, it's not going to send it to me. So, let me try Google Chat. That might work, too. Okay, that did not work either. So, but yeah, so I can't show you, like, how it works, but it does work really well. Um, So, tra chat translation, I do use it for a few contacts that are out of the country. And it gets everything super accurate, and they think it's great that they can use it without needing it on their phone. And so, yeah, Translate Conversations, uh, that's basically pretty similar. Um, it's like a live interpreter, so it's going to be found within the quick settings of your device. You're going to go and hit that interpreter mode. And again, you can have it set to any language that you download. So just press the chat. The microphone, sorry. Hi, my name is William, and I have a YouTube channel called Wotech, and I love all things phone and phones. And my favorite phone of all times has to be the Samsung Galaxy S24 Plus and the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5. So I'll give that a few minutes to translate. Lo siento, hola. Me llamo William y tengo un canal de YouTube que se llama Wotech. Y me encantan todas las cosas, el teléfono y los teléfonos, y mi teléfono favorito de todos los tiempos tiene que ser el Samsung Galaxy S4 Plus y el Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5. So if you speak Spanish, let me know how accurate that was. I do speak a little bit of Spanish, but it's kind of rusty. But yeah, um, from what I could understand, that was actually pretty spot on. But like I said, if you speak Spanish or know someone that speaks Spanish, send, the, send this video to them and see if they can translate that accurately. So, and then summarize and translate voice recordings. I actually haven't tried this yet, so this will be a first time for me. So here we have the voice recordings set up. So this actually looks different than on... When you buy six, let's go ahead and, yeah, take a selfie. Yeah, I'm taking a selfie every day for a year, uh, for, for no reason, really. Uh, so, voice recordings, where are you? Okay, I don't have it, but I'll put a screenshot on my Galaxy S23 Ultra to see what it looks like, so, allow. Hi, my name is William. Um, I'm going to be testing this to see how well it can translate my notes and just transcribe them into a very easy formatable i don't know text ratio 
uh, with scientific discoveries for the new era of spatial computing with the Apple Vision Pro to see how expensive Apple's company really is in the new time of technology with the Z Flip 5. You guys probably think I'm crazy, but no. <laughs> I'm just trying to see like how good it can do. So, okay, transcribe. Uh, it's English. Sorry. So yeah, so I just wanted to see how well it can, you know, transcribe what I'm saying. Speaker one. So it's like, so allow. Wait, hold on. It's like, so allow. Hi, my name is, it's like, so allow. Hi, my name is William. Um, I'm going to be testing this to see how well it can translate my notes and <coughs> transcribe them into a very easy, formatable, I don't know, text ratio uh, with scientific discoveries for the new era of spatial computing with the Apple Vision Pro to see how expensive Apple's company really is in the new time of technology with the Z Flip 5. Bruh, that was way too good. Wow, that was amazing. How good that was. I'm, I'm really impressed with that. That you could, like I said, I was trying to, you know, like, uh, say random stuff to try to confuse it, but no, they actually did a really, really good job. So, summarize, uh, and translate web pages. So, that is going to be found within a Samsung internet, which I actually don't use. Um, so, how do you, uh, how do you search? Home? Let me figure out, okay, so let's search, uh, okay, Z fold Z Fold 6. So I did hear that there is going to be a budget Z Fold 6, like a Z Fold 6 FE. So that'd be super cool if Samsung does do that. I'm definitely buying that. So, okay, so let's do this. And hit that. Summarize. Summarizing. So let's see how... Oh, wow, that was really fast. So, wow, that did a really good job. Okay, so, okay. Uh, Samsung's upcoming Z Flip... Or actually, I'll let you read it. Z Flip 6, Z Fold 6. So I'll put everything on screen so you can see a little bit bigger and you can also see it down here. So I'll give you like 10 seconds to look at that. Okay. Um. So yeah, that actually did a really good job. And Tran... Oops. Uh... Wow, why do I actually like this? I might use Samson Notes, maybe. Translate. Translate. What's it translating to? Oh, English. Okay, so let's translate it into German. And, bruh, wait, translate. Oh, translate. Do you see how fast that was? Oh my goodness. That was the fastest thing I have ever seen in my whole entire life. Watch. This isn't even Samsung's website. That is absolutely crazy. No way. Okay, this has to be my new favorite feature. If I find something in a different language, then just translate it so fast. Okay, so uh, reimagine pictures with photo editor. So yeah, let's go ahead and use this picture that I'm using for my title, or not title, why do I always say title? But no, my uh, thumbnail for my video, so we're just gonna select a bunch of stuff and I'm just doing this super fast, so I don't know. Let's do that, hit generate and let it do its thing. Okay, I'm noticing this video is actually super long, but if you are watching it to this point, like, all the way through, big thanks to you guys. You guys are awesome. Comment a, a fire emoji with a smiley face emoji down in the comments, and I will like and respond to your comment. Like, I'll, not, like, heart it and like it and respond to your comment. You guys are awesome. And please consider subscribing if you want more videos on the Galaxy S24 Plus and really any Samsung device that I own. So yeah, definitely consider checking out my channel to see all my videos that I have on there. So this is what we are left with. Ooh. Okay. Well, <laughs> so this is what we're left with. So as you can see, it did actually a really good job. Um, I'm not sure why, but it made it dark there. But like the grains of wood, it continues it. I think that actually did a really good job. Yeah, I think that did good. So let me know what you think down in the comments. And also, 
uh, the uh, it adds a watermark at the bottom of this like the picture, which just kind of lets you know that hey, this photo has been tampered with with AI. Oh, sorry, but I um, I don't know why they added that to be honest, because like I know you can just remove it like with the like uh, image eraser thingy. So I don't really know if that's really a thing they should have added, but hey, it's there. Okay, so then generate your own wallpaper. So hit try it. And then, so you have all these options. So paintings, for instance. And then, so, okay, a jungle. So you could do a mountain, cape, glacier, I like. So, and add spaceships. That might sound cool. Or robots. So I'm going to do spaceships. Uh, hmm, I don't really know any of these styles. Pop art, maybe? Let's do, oh, abstract. I do like abstract. Okay, and hit generate. And this actually does work pretty fast. I think it's on device. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it is. And I do really like the little animations. Oh, wow. That's actually really... That is definitely abstract. Oh, I like that, actually. I'll set that as my wallpaper. Yeah, so that is all the features of One UI 6.1 regarding artificial intelligence. So thank you so much for watching this video. And if you're watching to the very end, it means a lot to me, like I said. And if like you want me to see like all the things that are new with One UI 6 and just my top features, definitely consider subscribing for that. And thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you in my next one. And I'll see you then.